Hello everyone, in this video we're going to take a look at the steps to access the advanced startup options on Windows 11. On Windows 11, like in previous versions, you can use the advanced startup options to troubleshoot problems and make system changes that you can do while Windows is running. So here are the different ways that you can use to open the advanced startup options on Windows 11. First, we're going to look at the steps using the settings app. And to do that first, we're going to open the start menu and then we're going to look for the settings app. Then we're going to click on system and then recovery. And under the recovery options and the advanced startup setting, click the restart now button. And then click the restart now button. And here we are in the advanced startup options for Windows 11, which is similar to the one available on Windows 10. And from here you can do different things and most of the time you're just going to go to troubleshoot and from here you can reset this PC or you can ask, access the advanced options that allows you to use the startup repair to fix different problems on Windows, uninstall updates, access the firmware and the startup settings to change the behavior and from here you can also put the computer in safe mode. And also you can open command prompt and you can click the see more recovery options to access the system image recovery that allows you to restore your computer from an earlier backup that you have created before. And there is also the uh, system restore option that allows you to use a restore point to recover the computer. Another quick way to open the advanced startup options on Windows 11 is by opening the start menu and on the power options, make sure to press the shift key on the keyboard and then click the restart button. And that will trigger the same action to open the recovery environment of Windows 11. You can also use a command line to restore the computer into the advanced startup options on Windows 11. And to do that, you can use command prompt or the Windows terminal application. In this case, I'm just going to use that. And in the uh, command line shell that you're using, type the shutdown, the shutdown command with the R option O, F, T, and double zero, and then press enter. If you can't boot your computer, you can use a USB media to access the Windows startup settings. I will be leaving a link in the video description with the steps on how to create a bootable installation media to access these settings. Once you have that USB media connected to the computer and then start the device. For the purpose of this video, I booted the device into the boot manager, and then I'm going to select the CD-ROM that includes the image of the bootable media. But in your case, it will be the USB installation media. And this will start the Windows 11 setup. And from there, we can access the advanced startup options. In the first page, just click next. And then instead of clicking the install now button, you will click the prepare your computer option. And this will open the advanced startup settings, but from the USB bootable media. And you will still have access to the same tools to fix problems with the computer. In the case that you don't have a USB bootable media and you can boot into Windows 11, there is another option that you can use and that is by using the automatic repair feature on Windows 11. And the way you would open the automatic repair, it's by turning off the computer and booting it up again. And as soon as you see the Windows logo starting up, you can shut it down again and repeat the same step twice. And then because Windows can boot, it will go straight into the automatic repair feature, which actually will open the recovery settings, which is the one that we know as the advanced startup options. And once you are into the automatic repair 
section, just click the advanced options button and that would open the advanced startup settings for Windows 11. And from there you can go to troubleshoot and access the settings to fix different problems or change settings on your computer. And those are pretty much all the different ways that you can open the advanced startup options on Windows 11. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.